Hey co friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today and today I'm going to help you guys solve a problem that I know many of you are struggling with which is frizz on the top of your head. Yes, it happens to the best of us, even me. Now the short solution to this problem is just don't care. Like, it's a little bit of frizz, it's not the end of the world, as long as the lengths of your hair are nice and defined, like, that's most important. If you look real closely, every curly person struggles with a little bit of frizz on the top or like the exposed parts of our heads. But if it's getting a little out of control, like this piece right here, this is unacceptable. Now this is a really common problem if you have bangs. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna probably make a full video on like the truth about having curly bangs, but it's a lot of work and I would not recommend cutting your hair into this bang shape if you are a beginner in your curly hair journey. But because we're putting all the hair on the top of our head, we're diffusing upside down, maybe you use a pick and you got a little too rough up here and you created some more frizz, like, that's how this happens. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a little bit of water. Of course, my water bottle is nowhere in sight, so I'm gonna have to use my drinking water and just make this, <gasps> you know what I could use? Brianna, my Barbie doll, her little water bottle. Let's use it. <laughs> Shout out to Barbie for making toys that can actually help us in life. You could use an actual adult squirt bottle, but uh, I'm gonna use Barbies because I don't want to get up. So find the problem areas. This whole, this whole chunk right here needs to be fixed, okay? So here's the before. Hot mess. I'm gonna spritz it. Is this actually functional? Yes! Barbie's clutch! All right. Sometimes just adding some water will do the trick because it will reactivate whatever product's already in your hair. Oh, I'm too tall. Whoop! There we go. So we're going to add some water to smooth out that frizz. So already that looks better. Now to keep it pretty and curly, I would suggest using a gel. Any type of gel you have should work. You even could try your cream stylers. But if you use a gel like this Curl Keeper gel, which is one of my favorites, um, it has more hold. Now you could just apply the product. You could do a little twirl around your finger. Let's split this into two. So what you're gonna do is you just kinda twist it around. And you're kind of training your curls to be better. And you just continue to do this for any frizzy parts on the top of your head. just to smooth down any of those flyaways. And there you go, don't I look amazing? Okay, just kidding. Obviously, this is not a good look. It's just a very flat triangle look with no volume, nothing that I really desire. But now that I use the gel, I know that it's going to create a little bit of a cast, making it safe to diffuse. So now I'm gonna grab my diffuser and we're gonna fix this. So now it's a closer look, much better. See how all these curls up top 
are now just more defined. Look at look how shiny this one is. And because it was a gel, it was able to create that cast and not create more frizz. This looks, I think, so much better. It's really easy to do. The, the more you do it, the faster you'll get. So this is what I do to make my curls look extra popping, even on the top of my head, creating more of that definition, less frizz. Like, I don't think you're ever gonna be able to get rid of every single piece of frizz. Like, I mean, there's like little tiny micro things, but I dare someone to stop you and say something. Now, although I showed you how to do this for the frizz on the top of your head, feel free to use this anywhere you have frizz. Maybe you have like a trouble spot in the back. Maybe you have some little pieces in here that always get frizzy. Wherever it may be, get a little bit of water, a little bit of gel, wrap it around your finger, let it dry, and it'll look so much better. So that is my quick easy video on how to refresh those annoying pieces of frizz on the top of your head. If this was helpful to you, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week and I'm so mini curly hair videos on my channel to help you with your curly hair journey. So just binge watch my entire curly hair playlist. This isn't like Disney Plus or Hulu or Netflix where you have like a subscription fee every month. This is free. It shouldn't be, but it is. And what Bianca Renee today has to offer that other subscription services don't is beautiful curls after viewing. So make sure you subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And you can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. That way you get daily tips and you're always the first to know what I'm about to be talking about here on YouTube. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Yeah.